Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to a seasonal beer review. We are off to a brewery, which I think are pretty, pretty solid. We're off to Abidal Brewery. I think they're based near Sheffield. And we've got uh, a pumpkin spiced ale from them. And it's a can of their Pilgrim. Love the can art on that. It looks absolutely banging. All their artwork on their cans looks absolutely brilliant. That is banging. I love it. Really, really good. Um, it just reminds me of all them old horror movies you've seen, you know, with the the church looking like that. and the, It does. It looks fantastic. So um, I shall read you the back. It says, begin your pilgrimage. A seasonal addition to our small batch Brewer's Emporium range. This tasty spiced ale is fragrant, full-bodied, flavoursome with a lightly bitter finish. We've selected a classic combination of autumnal spices inspired by our favourite holiday recipes to create a cosy yet refreshing goal now to keep those cockles toasty and warm. Keep them cockles toasty and warm, boys and girls. Um, it's got pumpkin, hops, allspice... Um, all spice. <laughs> That's a half to shave, isn't it? <laughs> all, all spice. <laughs> you know, what's the one with the the one with the ship on? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we've got cinnamon, cloves, ginger, nutmeg, and yeast. So there's a backside. I met this lot. Funny enough years ago about three or four years ago i put some beers on the channel from them um i met them at a country fair in harrogate the postal town of harrogate and the head brewer was there and he was a very knowledgeable fella um i'm not sure if he's still there i've got a feeling he's gone somewhere else which um i won't comment on but yeah so Let's just crack it open. Let's see what we get. Yeah, cinnamon, nutmeg in abundance. Definitely, definitely. Tons of it, tons of it. How much have they put in this brew? Who knows? So let's try and do a decent pour. Do apologise for the state of the glass, but you know, it's the way I am. There we go. That's not bad, JB. I think you've done a good job there. Right, obviously, this is aimed at the Halloween season. Um, tell me out there what your favourite horror films are. Um, usually, with me, the horror films are the uh, my favourite horror films. And the ones what you grew up with, you know, the ones what actually scared you when you were young. And because let's face it, horror films don't scare you now, not when you're my age anyway. Um, my favourite horror film is the first Halloween. Um, nothing beats it for me. The way it was shot, the way it was directed, it was brilliant. Anyway, getting back to the beer, let's get the beer look. It's slight haziness to this tight, slightly compact. One and a half fingers worth of head. Let's get the aroma. Lots of nutmeg. Lots of cinnamon. For sure. Spiced orange. Dried fruit. Definitely. I could say there's pumpkin there. But to be honest with you... I've never had pumpkin on its own. I've said it before, so I'm going to go in. Cheers. When you first drink it, it's a weird thing because you get a warming feeling of ginger. It feels like a ginger beer on the front end. As soon as you drink it, it's there, or warming ginger. Definitely. 
then you then you hit with spicy notes the nutmeg and the cinnamon rolls in afterwards on the back end a hint of bitterness but for me the underlying current of the taste of the whole beer and what's holding it all together is that ginger again again Mouthfeel is average, I would say. You know, it's nothing terrible, but nothing brilliant. Um, so, for me, the beer, I, th I think ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon are very, very strong flavours. I couldn't tell you about the pumpkin, because for me, who oh, know what pumpkin tastes like in the first place. It could be there. It could not be there. But for me, they're very, very strong flavours combined together in a beer. And so if you want any beeriness or beery bitterness or beery elements um, in this beer, they're not shining through because of these strong flavours. However, I think it works and I think it's very, very enjoyable. does make me think of leaves falling off the tree, turning red, brown or whatever, falling off the tree, frosty mornings, Halloween, um, autumn. It does. It's, it's an autumn, autumn beer. So for me, is this an autumn, is this autumn season in a glass where beer is concerned? Most definitely. Because it's got it all them elements. So they've done what they wanted to achieve. And to be honest, I'm a happy man. Because that is what I wanted when I picked it off the shelf. So overall, boys and girls, does this get the big thumbs up massively? They've done it. It's cracking. Um, they've done a cracking, cracking job on it. Full of flavour. And yeah. Definitely buy this one again. Definitely one of the best autumnal beers about, for sure. And how much was this? £2.99. Still cheaper than the National Trust beer I bought. And it's better. <laughs> and it's at 5%. <laughs> Boys and girls, Abbeydale Brewery, Pilgrim, Pumpkin Spice Tale. It does exactly what it says on that can, and it's awesome. Thank you very much for watching this one. Please subscribe. Murder me in the comments. And it's a big trickle treat bib bib from me. Cheers.